Here we go. Welcome to My Sports Wire, friends. We're just underway here. The Consolation Championship, your host team, the Plano Reapers and the Cavaliers of LaSalle, Peru. Right away, Alex Lenkaitis strikes and gets the bucket. I'm here with Steve Lombardo, Reggie on camera, also on commentating. Welcome, guys, to the show. Hey, great to be here, Phil. An exciting matchup this afternoon. Looking forward to seeing how Plano comes out this morning, this afternoon, I should say. And uh, good to be here. Griffin Bam! Cross with the three point. I'll tell you what, Griffin Cross has had a great tournament. He's been our player of the game two different times. He has done a real nice job in game number 10. He was player of the game. And in game number uh, 19 in the 71 49 victory. You know what? Griffin is tall, but he can shoot. Yeah, he can shoot the lights out of it. Well Mo said, Reg. Most centers, like in the NBA, in 2K, they're horrible. They have, like, Fs at shooting. Long sh shot by Kajan. Yeah, that's, that's the truth, Reggie. How about, uh, how about uh, KD? KD? He's, he's a good shooter. Yeah, and he's seven foot. Oh, why? Now, we are appreciative. Uh, here's a picture of Reggie uh, wearing the Cavaliers gear. You see him with the Cavaliers ball and the Cavaliers gear. That's compliments to Coach Trevaney and the Cavaliers family. So he's wearing that right now. He appreciates it. Nice little play there. Got Damon Williams an easy bucket. So, Reggie, does that mean you're a fan of LaSalle Peru for this game? Are you pulling uh, for them? Yeah, I guess so. Seventh place Yeah, position? you know, his, his uncle is uh, assistant coach here uh, for the Plano Reapers, Kyle Anderson. And, uh, he has not hooked him up with any, as Reg calls it, merch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes, hey, LP hooked me up with some merch, Dad. When I 
When I talked to Kyle, he ignored me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, assistant coach uh, Nick Anderson, or Nick Slack said that was his job. Oh, what a play! Oh! oh! Cross the missed the dunk. dunk. They're able to get it back, though, and then it's fouled. That is pretty sweet play, but got to get that dunk down. I got that all on camera. Well, I know you did, Reg. You haven't missed a shot yet this <laughs> tournament. Um. Yep, sounds good. Yep, that sounds Plano good. Plano will take it out. They'll toss it over the top, and he got his two points anyway. Griffin Cross. You know, I had a chance to talk to Kyle Anderson, another assistant, Nick Slack, before the game today, and this is just what they were hoping for, to come out with some energy, to come out on fire, and, and that's what it feels like today. And uh, number 22, again, is showing up and, and just seems like a force. Unlike earlier in the season, uh, t today, uh, they're looking for a big game out of the big man. Yeah, Griffin Cross uh, has, again, in their both victories, was been named the player of the game. There's uh, Gupper Schmidt with the bucket, and then right back at you, Damon Williams gets another bucket. He has four in the game. They have a five-point lead with nine to four is the score. Five ten to go in the first quarter. And look at Damon Williams gets trouble. Griffin picks it up. Oh, what a dish to Kayshawn Smith. Nice dime wow. by Griffin Cross. This wow. Is, time out to LaSalle. Coach Peru. Trevaney this had to call a timeout. This is going to be a big game for the big guy. Get it? Yes, it will. Yeah. Let's take a quick timeout. Now, we thank all of our sponsors. One of our premier sponsors, Village Bible Church, Plano Campus. That's right here in Plano, and you are the pastor. That's right, absolutely. I'm excited to be in town here. We can see the school right from our front porch at uh, Village Bible Church in Plano. And excited to have some of the players come to our church uh, from time to time, occasion, and we love more of them to come. So, we're no a doubt. Supporter of uh, uh, the Plano teams and, and Plano school. Just excited to be here. 11 to 4 is your score, 4.45 to go. Long three. Well, that was uh, Tyler Hartman who's going to go to line now. Tyler Hartman, I don't know if you know, Tyler Hartman the other day beat Hinkley Big Rock with a three quarter shot on a last second shot. It was 39 39. They got it into Tyler Hartman with 1.3 seconds to go. Or was it 1.8, Reg? It was 1.8. That 1, was last 1. year. 1.3 was last year's for LaSalle, Peru. It wasn't the same guy. No, Joel year. Pantoya yeah. did it last yep. year, and, and Tyler Hartman this year. And, He's gone. And he fired away three-quarter shot swish. Now, according to Coach Aaron Sovereign of the Yorkville Christian Mustangs, he was on the front row. He said it was actually tipped by one of the HBR defenders. And that's why it swished. He said otherwise it was going to go way high. And uh, Wow. So I haven't seen that on the video, but I'm going to watch it again slow motion. You guys can look at my Facebook page for that. Heard it was tweeted out by Coach Trevaney and over 2,500 views within the first hour. They tagged uh, top 10. Top 10 of ESPN did not pick it up. They did not pick it up. They did not. Okay. Long three off the back iron, tipped around, and here comes Williams. He'll give it off to Kajon. Kajon takes one dribble and easy layup. He has four in the game, 4.15 to go in the first quarter, 11 to five in favor of the Reapers. Near steal right there, cross hustling hard. I thought they were gonna alley-oop Griffin right there. When they were Huge rebound by Kajon. But an excellent hustle. However, he's touching the line and right into my father-in-law and friends on the end line. Well, Drake Weber's coming out firing away, and you know that he's done that the whole tournament. He's not scared, and he's going to find it, and he's, or he's going to work hard until he does. Yeah, yeah. Let, we'll talk about some of the stat leaders, yeah. actually. I've got him here for the first three days. Uh, very interesting to look at. Kajan balances, fires, nothing doing. Rebound to Tubbs. That's Elliot Tubbs. He 
He's got it. 6'3", senior, floats it up, right-handed, nothing doing. Huge rebound Woodhouse. by Woodhouse, and they're going to say he traveled. Little contact. Thirteen five three forty one to go. Nice little stab hook right there, and got it to go. Good play by Cole Lynch. Lynch has had a couple of nice games here this tournament. From downtown. Might have got away with a little hop. Sh Schmidt came in there, caused enough damage, uh, enough havoc, and Copper Schmidt isn't able to hang on to it. Second time they've done that. That's right, Reggie. Second time they just kind of throwed it up to the big fella. Griffin Cross with two points in the lane. You just got to trust him at that point. Another pick pocket. Little guy going to dunk it. Uh, now, two pointers made after three days of tournament play. Griffin Cross was number seven in two pointers made. He had 11 at that point. So we'll see if he can keep increasing on that. Free throw percentage. Plano's got a handful. Tyler Hartman's 100%. Cole Thompson, Bob Don't Huber, pass. Cole Lynch, all 100% for LaSalle, Peru. And, uh, and then Gabriel Rodriguez and Nicholas Woodhouse and Cedric Walton, all from Plano. All 100%. They're going to call traveling, and it'll be Plano ball. Offensive rebounds. Griffin Cross, good enough for number two, 11 rebounds. Overall, Griffin Cross is number seven in total rebounds. He has 21. Robbie Taylor now checked in for Griffin Cross, number 33. And he takes a lot of space underneath. He's a big guy. There's a long three, back iron. He had the rebound, but LaSalle Peru in trouble. Schmidt, he grabs it, but he loses out of bounds. He just kind of deflected it enough. The Gr life of the Plano roster is showing early on. He, he, it really Bryce is. Smith right there just hustling and working hard, knocking the ball out of bounds. This is something that earlier on in the season – According to their coaching staff, they were lacking, and they, uh, they're on point today. Yeah, they've, they've had three good games in a row, and we'll see if they can keep that going. Under two minutes in the first quarter, up 10, and LaSalle Peru's got to find an answer. 15 foot, he's kind of leaning on his back heel, and Kajan Smith with another rebound. Here comes Bryson Schmidt. He's asking for it in the corner there, Griffin is. Schmidt from downtown, nothing doing. And rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Here comes Skoog, he'll throw it to the corner, long three, bam! All right on that one home, Cupper Schmidt with the big three. Like a snake. Rattlesnake. Griffin Cross has three blocks in the tournament so far. That's good enough for second place in the current leaderboard. Plano's got a pretty big lineup right now. You go 6'5", 6'4", 6'4", and uh, all athletic. Kick it back. Oh. And good pass to the yellow-shirted guy on the sidelines. Damon Williams, who has a few steals already in this game, he's leading the whole tournament in steals with 12 through the first three days. Who's that? Damon Williams, Jr. They call he's it a new play called the, one. The whole tournament, yeah, okay. and all the teams. So give and go. Lynch knocking it down. That's how you do it. And they pull within five. Lynch with four. 35 seconds to go in the first quarter. This is game number 29 of the Plano Christmas Classic. Into the corner. Kajan from downtown. Nice rebound on the weak side. Good job. If he didn't lose it, it would have been a travel. Over to the corner. He's the quarterback, so he can chuck it pretty hard. Long three. Nothing doing. Rebound. 
Out to uh, Skoog. Skoog will wisely bring it up. Long three. Again? Oh, nope. That would have been fun to watch. What do you do another video? We'll be back. <laughs> Well, we got ourselves a good one here, 17 to 12 after one. Phil Chapman here along with Steve Lombardo and Reggie Chapman bringing you Hello. this game. Put Long down three down. in the corner, nothing doing. Another rebound for Skoog. He'll throw it out to Kupperschmidt. And here comes Plano hustling right back. Wisely, Kupperschmidt takes it back. He'll drive around the baseline. Back out top, nothing doing. He'll drive, get a nice scoop shot, and... Bada bing, bada boom. Cole That's Lynch with another point. bucket. He has six. That's a three-point lead now for Plano. And Scoo gets a hand on it. Great diving play by Hartman. Someone was on. No, they're going to call a foul. That's Dave Chris. We, uh, we, you and I both know Dave. That's a beautiful call right there. I don't know if it was right or not, but just the way that he motioned it and signaled it. It was beautiful. Yeah, well done. Nice nice form. Good stretch. Held the whistle perfectly in his lips, just slightly to the left. A lot of people don't pay attention to those things. No, he's, he's using a brand new Fox 44 whistle. That's a, a oh ballless whistle. And those don't ever go bad. Should I zoom into it and see if it's a Fox 44? We'll talk about that later. Cole Thompson with a bucket. He has his first bucket of the game. Pulls him within one. Maybe at halftime we'll do it. Sounds good. And South Peru has held Plano here scoreless for two and a half minutes. And, uh, whoa. Bum, da, Bingo. Bum, bye. I didn't believe that was Schmitty. It was. I looked, uh, looked to the left. No, they're going to give it to Damon Williams. I didn't see who got it. It was Schmidt. Yeah, I thought it was Bryson Schmidt. Well, Bryson Schmidt on the board has three, so correction. Bryson Schmidt. Oh, I thought they called a timeout. No timeout, just a, almost a wholesale change. Oh. People need to sit down. So they can get going. <laughs> Even the coach went out and, <laughs> and counted five. Coach Key. They have a coach's box, but uh, it's be, it's extended significantly for coaches, unless they're at causing some havoc. Woodhouse loses it again. He's had a couple of turnovers uh, today. Nick Woodhouse drives to the left, floats it. Kupperschmidt with another bucket. He has seven. 20 to 18. Over 20 to 18. 550 to go in the first half. They'll work the offense. Over to the corner. Feeding it down low. And that's going to be a foul. Pretty easy to see. That's on Cole Thompson. Cole Thompson's first. Team's third. Now let's see if they go for a third time. Underneath the Griffin they, Cross. Well, they did. That time, a quick one, instead of the Griffin Cross, they went to uh, Woodhouse. Woodhouse said, thank you very much. Yeah. I'll take it. First bucket of the night. Pulls him up four. Gupper Schmidt over to Hartman. 
Hartman calls quick play, play number one. He's guarded heavily by Griffin Cross. They don't want to leave him. Long three off the front Logan. iron. Woodhouse got a hand on it, but pulled down. And I think it's going to be a travel on Lynch. No, they're going to call the offensive. Offensive. Cole Lynch picks up two quick fouls. Now that's three team fouls. I thought Cole Lynch just got one on the down on the other end. I could be wrong about that. I probably I don't am. think he did. No. Oh no! You know it was uh, Cole Thompson, not Cole, Cole Lynch. Cole Thompson. Good rebound there by Hartman, and he's going to be fouled, 80 feet away from the basket. Not necessary. Griffin Another Cross call. comes up with it. Perfect positioning as he showed the double P sign. Pops the Fox 44 back in his mouth. The Fox 44 is a fine instrument. Nothing but the best, Clark. 4.45 to go in the first half. Lynch with the cut, back door. Nice, another steal for Damon Williams. Picked up by Woodhouse, and they're gonna call it traveling. He kind of took off a little bit before he took that dribble, Rodriguez. Happy feet. I see a LaSalle Peru ball being passed around. Reggie questioning the passing of his new LP basketball. Nice defense by the Reapers. Shot fake underneath. They're going to call the foul. That's going to be on Griffin. That's his third, and he's going to have to sit probably for the remainder of the half. That's a big loss That's a for blow. the Reapers. You know, Cole Lynch, he is, uh, I would say, deceptively quick and smart. And the way that he plays the game is, uh, is just, he's a smart player. He, he, he makes his cuts where he needs to be. He's, he's uh, making turnovers. He's forcing turnovers. He just did last possession. Uh, he's, he's having a good tournament. And uh, he's a good player, the senior from the South Peru. A little frustration there shown. Yeah. On the bench there. Poor uh, Kajan Smith has to get that hand taken care of. He got high five from... Uh, that hurts. <laughs> yeah, it does. Tubbs comes in. 22-18, four-point lead, 4.15 to go in the first half. We're already almost through uh, one half of basketball in game number 29 of the 56th annual Plano Christmas Classic. Now, Plano has never won the championship in these 56 years uh, of the tournament. And they won't obviously tonight. That's a rebound, so that's a good call by Dave Chris. He was all over that. He has yet to miss a call this year. That's a travel, and his partner hasn't missed either. Now, Plano has not won the championship ever, but they have been in the championship. They've had the fourth highest appearances in the entire tournament. And they, they've obviously been in it all 56 years. That's an advantage for them, but... no, oh, nice little dish to Tubbs. Elliot Tubbs with a bucket. And that pulls him within one. Can you name the top three teams? Top number four is Plano. They have six appearances in the championship game, yet to get a W. What are the other three teams? I'm guessing Lockett. Reggie, Reggie, you don't get to guess. You I don't know it. Hey, if he knows it, that's uh, that's okay. I, so the question I is. I don't know it. To get you weren't in, in on this conversation earlier? What? Oh, I think it was Doc. To get in and not win or just to be It doesn't matter. In? Just to be in it. Win or lose. Oh, I heard it, but I forgot. Yeah, don't don't answer then. So and Plano's number Plano four. has six. They have six. So the number one is nine. Number two is eight. Number three is seven appearances. <gasps> is Newark in there? They might be. I don't know. I think so. Newark is in there. They're the number one. They've been in there nine right. times yeah. in the appearance. That doesn't mean... They've only won it four times. But they've appeared Only, nine Dad. Times. Nine times. Nine times. I've got it right here. 
Wake up and smell the coffee, Pastor Lombardo. It's a fool's paradise. Good floater by Damon Williams. He has eight and pulls him up three. Who are the other two? Can I guess? Number two is very local, very close to your heart in location. Morris? Negative. <laughs> Yorkville is number two. is number two on the list. That's, they have eight appearances, one behind Newark. And the third one... Quick sportsmanship warning to someone on the bench. I'm sure it wasn't Coach Trevaney. Uh, official like Dave Chris with a few words on the side there. Coach Gervaini, uh stoic, didn't even move. So I'm guessing it wasn't him. So who's the third place thing team? Third team. Number three ended up being the number 16 team this year, the 16th place team, and that was Mendota. Mendota. They've ah. got oh. seven appearances. Plano's one behind that uh, to be tied for third. The last time Plano Nate was... Nate Linder, sandwich up in there? Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Nice pass wow. by the Gijan quarterback. Pass. Gajon takes oh. the rep down. <laughs> I got that fully on video. He caught Gajon as he got shoved into him. <laughs> He's up. He's okay. Photographer oh. quickly there. helped as well. Kajan's oh limping, coming up limp. Referee, little smile and make sure everything's all in place for him. He got him. 26-21 is your score. Great pass by the Plano QB. Yeah, Schmidt. Bryce and Schmidt, number five. And that's seven points now for Kajan Smith. That was a two-pointer. Last time Plano was in the championship was when Ooh. I was in kindergarten. 1980. They lost to Dwight. They were in a, in 71, lost to Shabana. 1970, lost to Ma Montino. Montini. Was in 69, lost to Burlington Central. And in 68, lost to Hinkley Big Rock. <laughs> Now, LaSalle, Peru, though. Last time, LaSalle, Peru, they won it one time. They won it in 2015. And that was a tremendous game. I don't know if you remember that. It was a triple overtime championship and they beat Dixon who had won it the year before and LaSalle, that was a great game that was a phenomenal game I sat at the end line the end zone I like to call it that was before the dawn of my sports wire yeah it was and uh, I always forget that guy from Dixon's name he's he there's a chance he goes pro this next year NBA He's only a junior. I think he's only listed as a sophomore. I think he redshirted one year. Two-point lead for Plano, and here yeah. comes... What is his name? Uh, hey, Dylan. 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 Who's the Dixon guy? What's his name? What is it? Roby. Isaiah Roby. That's right. Smooth player. You know, him and one other kid are the smoothest players I've ever seen. On this basketball court. Oh, I think I know. The I other one? Patrick Mayfield. Yeah, He's currently it. playing for Burlington Central. He had 39 last night. He is absolutely unbelievably smooth. How tall Here is we he? go. Uh, six foot four. 27, 25, 30 seconds to go. Let's see what LaSalle Peru, Coach Trevaney, have in store for this last second play. Playing, trying to play it smart. LaSalle Peru is in the bonus. Right now, LaSalle Peru is set to get the ball back after halftime. Ten seconds. They go over to the side. Here's 
Linkitis, he gives it back. They better make a run. They've got it to Hartman. Back to Linkitis. Two seconds. Drops it off. Tubbs with a shot. Count the bucket, and that's exactly how the play was written up. She's all knotted up, 27-27 at halftime. 27-27. Wow, what a half. We'll be back.
Second half basketball, it's basically a 0-0 game as we start off 27-27. Near five count to start the second half. Good job by the Reapers. Any that, insight you have, uh, Pastor Steve, uh, as we get into the second half? I had a chance to talk to some of the coaching staff at Plano, and, and uh, they were really excited about the way they came out to start the game. And they're hoping for an energetic start to this third quarter and uh, hopefully to go up uh, again. Cooper Schmidt starts things off. He has nine. And keep Cross out of uh, foul trouble here. So Yeah, crucial to keep Cross in the game. He has three right now. They're going to call it out of bounds in favor of Plano. Dave Chris right there with the call. I don't know how Williams got back up right there. No hands had appeared, and he just, like, floated back up in the air. That was pretty impressive. I think I got on, I think I got on Kayla. Oh, good. Since that's where the ball was, that would be a good idea. Nice little feed underneath, and Woodhouse with another bucket. Woodhouse has four. It's already 10 after four, speaking of four. Oh, another pick. He's leading the, leading the tournament in steals, and why not keep it going? He has double digits now, up two. Quick four-point run for the Reapers. Wearing their home white, which they wear every single time they play here, it seems like. That was a third steal by Rodriguez. And Two of the three resulting in a layup. Just putting on some good D. You mean Williams? Damon Williams. Yes. Thinking of Gabe Rodriguez. Yeah, Gabe Ro Rodriguez is pretty quick too. Speaking of Williams, I see his big head right there in the... In the oh, yeah, I do see a big head bleachers. of Rodriguez. Not so, Rodriguez, uh, Williams. Uh, Williams. Damon Williams, I see it straight about midcourt. We'll zoom into that later on, Red Shed. Break, okay? Long three, there's Rodriguez. Why did not yeah, he, he knew where he was talking about him, and he uh, popped a three. Yeah, why not? Five-point lead, that's his first bucket of the day. Driving in, left hand, nothing. Oh, Big board by Kajan. A double hand outlet over the head, and they're going to call traveling, and that's the right call. He caught the ball, thought he was still playing football, and took off. The kid can has some wheels, and great toss by Kajan Smith. Right into, are we going to zoom in right into Williams' nose to see his nose here? Well, whatever you need to do, Reggie. Over to Hartman, Hartman, double teamed. That's not a spot you want to be double teamed, especially against those guys. Kupperschmidt, bam! Bingo. That brought down some rain. He has a dozen, 34-32, right back at you, no good. Rebound Kupperschmidt, why not? Here he comes down the line, ball didn't even touch the ground, Tubbs takes one dribble, goes up, Kajon Smith with the block and he'll get the rebound as well. Here they come, Nicholas Woodhouse. He's gonna drive, settle it down a little bit. Bring it to the corner. 4.40 to go in the third quarter. It's a two point lead for the Reapers of Plano. Kajon Smith with just the great ability to get up and get a piece of that. A block there by Skoog and out of bounds. They're right on top of it, that'll be LP ball. 4.25 to go. Plano with the full court pressure. Over the top to Kupperschmidt. He'll stop and pop from downtown. Might have been able to get a better shot than that. And then an inadvertent foul. I'm not sure well, how that happened. Drake Weber kind of just snuck his way in there and ended up getting the foul. Well, Sal Peru is going to need Kupperschmidt to come through like that. He dropped that three. Uh, Need him to kind of catch fire here, too. Want put to put away this Plano team. If 
Damon holds that screen a little bit tighter. I think he would have got the foul, and that would be out of bounds. Reggie, why don't we show the big head real quick? There's the big head right there of Damon Williams. Those are great. Yeah. Saw that uh, the volleyball season. All right, Reg. What does one of those cost to make, do you know? Yeah, 30, 40 bucks. They're not cheap. Damon Williams causing some more trouble. He knows that we're talking about him. I wonder if that's his mama. Probably is. Well, you're going to feel bad if that's his sister. Well said. Oh, yeah. Very well could be. Probably a younger sister. We'll correct ourselves. Long three, nothing doing. Kajan on that weak side again. He's fouled. Kajan says, all good, all good. We're all good, man. Yeah, Tubbs just working hard. Yep. Trying to get Kajan a Kajan knew that, too. That's why he made sure he gave him a little love tap, saying, hey, we're all good, man. Yeah, and the officials appreciate that. You saw Dave no doubt. Chris shaking his head, a little smile on his face. And yep. Uh, well, he, he notes that, uh, hey, that's a good kid. It doesn't change his calls. He's so professional, but here's a long three. Remy, no, tipped around, ended up in Cole Lynch's hand again. He's Rodriguez. like a magnet to the ball. He is. Copper He's Schmidt deceptive. Has it. Nice, easy drive. Weber, nothing. Rebound. Kicked out, and it's going to be, that's the right call. Looked like uh, Scoob kicked it. Barraza comes back in. He's a 5'9 junior. Skipped over the top. Long three by Barraza. Just came in and hits a dagger. 37-32, five-point lead, and Barraza rides... Weber all the way down. How many Plano fans are here right now, do you think, Phil? You know, Reggie, I maybe you know, too. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, no, they're blocked by Kajon Smith, and here come the Reapers. Quick ball, never touched the ground, and into the bucket. Easy bucket there for Griffin Cross. He falls on the ground afterwards. Mike got a little contact. Kupperschmidt from downtown, left, shot. Another rebound by... And it's going to be a foul on Skoog, but another rebound and outlet by Kajan Smith. Kajan Smith is uh, constantly using his athletic ability just to make those little plays, to get the extra stops on a couple of just gimme layups. He's been there to pick up the blocks. Before it gets out of control, 39-32. Trevaney's going to take a timeout. We will too. Well, here we go. We're almost three quarters of the way done with game number 29 in the 56th annual Plano Christmas Classic, and we've got ourselves a good one. Reggie Chapman on camera. Steve Lombardo Hello. sitting next to me, Pastor Steve. And that was the right idea by Damon Williams to save it because it was going to be off of Plano. So the Reapers maintained possession with that great hustle by Williams. Dave Chris coming across the court to make sure that on that call.
39-32, buck 45 to go. Coppersmith with a steal. Gets quick. He is. Into Lynch's hands. Well, I like that's the, his first. Watch the crisp call here. See how it goes up. Double unos, same time. Yeah. Pops the whistle back in his left half of the mouth. The thing of beauty. Nice shot Lynch. made by Lynch. Deceptive, deceptive, as you used earlier. That was your comment. He used his body well. Nine points for Lynch. Long three. He just hit one. Another rebound for the Reapers. Get the putback. Woodhouse with a big bucket. They'll balance it out. You okay, Reg, over there? Yeah. Okay. I was just fixing sure. my mic via the Maddie. Okay. Oh, got tangled up. I don't think Cuppersmith liked the, the fact that he gave up that steal. No. And he took him out, but it was a good foul. Williams Saved with him. another theft there. I mean, I don't know how many steals he has this game, but it's been a lot. I think that's his fourth steal. This game? Wow. Yeah. I told you earlier that he's leading the tournament in steals, and with that, he has 16 steals just in these five games, hmm. or four games. Sure. Nice little play right there. Oh. oh, missed the bunny, tipped around. Kajon Smith gets it again. Up, he's going to shoot two now. That was just great rebounds there. Foul's going to be on Drake Weber, I believe. That's what the Reapers were looking for coming into this game. The, the, the go, get it, fight it, and grab it. Uh, on that uh, possession alone, three attempts, and then the foul. Kajon Smith just showing a lot of heart today. Kajon has eight and now nine. They are enjoying a nine-point lead with 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Cover Schmidt has it. He'll bring it up. Left and right-handed, he's a righty shooter. Drive, Weber There's floats it. it, nothing doing. Rebound into Skoog, scoops it and spins it. What beautiful English, got the bucket. His we'll first of the day, 43-36. We'll be right back. Now, Pastor Steve, remind me if uh, someone wanted to come to your campus, Reg, the court, there we go, if someone wanted to come to Village Bible Church, Plano Campus, uh, where were they going? What time is your service? We meet on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock, and we welcome anybody from the community of Plano and all around. We've got people coming from Yorkville and, and Plano, Sandwich, Samanac, Newark. Um, really all over the area, anybody and everybody is welcome. Of course, we're supporting our school, Plano. We love the Reapers, uh, but we have lots of different schools uh, that we're affiliated with, with the people at our church, but we love Plano. We love the town, love the city, and so at 10 o'clock on Sunday mornings, anybody and everybody, come on out. We, we pride ourselves in being a welcoming church. Long Plano. three, Bam! That's exactly what Trevaney wanted, and he's got 15 now, and they pull it within 
four. Wow. You know what? The Sapu has to defend to the end. Defend to the end. That's right. And they, you know they will. That's why they get those three-point, three-quarter court opportunities because they are working until the end. You just keep fighting. W winning or losing, you keep fighting. There's a foul. Two shots coming his way. I think it's going to be on Cole Thompson. Cole Lynch. It is. Oh, never mind. Nice bucket there by Cedric. LaSalle Peru, as you watch them, they're really dependent upon Lynch and Kupperschmidt for a lot of different things. Not only scoring, but a Lynch down low. Uh, he's not that big of a guy. You got him listed at 6'2". I don't think he is. But he uses his body and his weight pretty well to get a lot yeah, of he's rebounds. He's so strong. He's a strong kid. And uh, they're dependent upon those two guys. And Weber, the sophomore right there, he, he's got to come alive. He's been cold all day. Yeah, From downtown. Two. Cole Lynch listed. Here they go. Bounce pass stolen by Kupperschmidt. Outside corner pocket. I thought he was going to take it. They're going to call it travel. Dave Chris all over that. He didn't argue at all. Jerry Thompson and Jeannie Thompson in the house. Gave me a little text. I had to get that often while I'm in the booth. That's classic. Oh, yeah. Reggie, you okay with the mic over there? Yeah. Okay. I fixed it. Okay. I thought you already had a fix. Nice block there, and here comes LaSalle Peru. He's Go to his left. And another steal. For Wilson. Williams, I mean. Scoops it over. No good. Dave Chris is going to say it was on the ground. But they're going to go to the line unless they already changed the fouls. And they did not. That's a one on one. Only one foul for Plano committed this half. That's seven for LP. That was a good foul right there. They actually, Dave could have probably called it a couple of different times. As they uh, came close to the hoop, but actually that... Uh, he just get... He just gave a technical to Coach Trevaney because he was reminding Dave Chris that it was 7-1 to one and fouls. And he had given him a warning earlier. That's right. And so due to the warning, he uh, wasn't... He didn't have any... Uh, any wick. It was a short wick. Well, he's quiet now on the bench. He's not putting up any arguments. So you know, he, it's almost uh, like Co he knows. He Coach Trevaney, I don't think, has ever raised his voice that I've heard. He uh, has been stoic. We didn't even think it was him the first time with right. Dave Chris. It was somebody else we thought. He looks calm and cool and collected down there. Can coaches get, like, fouled out or something? No, they can get thrown out. So but Coach Trevaney gets another technical, he's out of the game. And we, I don't believe that we have had that yet. Now, Coach Trevaney, by rule, is supposed to sit down, but he's calling timeout. They can, however, take back their gear, like T-shirts and basketballs and stuff like well, that. Reggie's hoping hope not. not. Yeah. We'll be right back.
Well, here we go. 49-39 is your score. Dad? Yeah, go ahead, Rich. You know what? I think this is going to be a barn burner. Yeah, I think it already is a barn burner. Well, another timeout. We'll be right back. Well, here we go. He nice scoops, drive by Kajon. Oh, no, Nothing he does not. Going. Uh, he gets his own rebound, goes up. He's going to shoot two. Kajon just sticking with it. Gets a high five, a low five, I should say, from Woodhouse on the bench. Ten-point lead. He is fired up today, and uh, with the miss, he stays with it. He actually missed it, fell behind, behind the backboard, came back, stuck with his shot, rebound, and got called for the foul, so... Made the first one, shooting two. Uh-oh. A little frustration shown on the part of the Cavaliers. Good job by Dave Chris not reacting to it. He's, he knows it wasn't frustrated with uh, officiating. He was frustrated with himself and, yep. in the turnover. Near travel there, no call. 50-39, it's extended to 11-point lead. 525 left in the game. Reggie Chapman on camera, passer Steve to my left. Hello. I'm Phil Chapman on my sports wire. So glad you guys joined us. We'll be sending out... All-star selections later on at the beginning of the 2019 year. They can get a 10 count right here, and Dave Chris was all over that on that count. Little pocket pass to Schmidt and blocked by Cole Lynch. He's six foot two, but plays a lot bigger than that. I, if he's six foot, I think he's lucky. He's listed at six two, but. I think he's about yeah, six you never, he, you never about know. 220, six foot, 220, six one. He's strong as an ox. Bryson Schmidt is listed at six one, and he looked like he was a little bit taller than. Yeah, he did. Cole. You're right. Yeah, yeah. How tall is Cole? That foul is going to be on Bryson Schmidt. What if anyone we mention all of a sudden just gets a foul? So if I mention Damon Williams right here, he'll will get he get a, a foul? Yeah, most Damon likely. Williams. Oh. He'll get a steal. Kupperschmidt drives, stops, out to Lynch. Lynch scoops it over. I was going to say Skoog, that's Lynchitis. Now he gives it off to Weber, over to Lynch. Lynch looking for Tubbs inside. Weber has it. Drive to the right. Floats it. What a soft touch there by Weber. Drake Weber, that's his first bucket, I think, of the game. Yeah, he's been quiet. He's missed several shots. His left-hand uh, scoop that he likes to go to hasn't been falling for him. But right there, a beautiful touch on the shot. Only down nine. Nothing to panic about. The only problem is, is they're in the, they're in the double bonus. Uh, they, Plano is. And... Plano has a ton of fouls to give. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll be right back.
50 to 41, we've got ourselves a good game here. Nine point lead for the Reapers. They just used one of their timeouts. They've got three left. Two for LaSalle Peru. Possession arrows in favor of Plano. That's an advantage. Yeah, that's a huge advantage. Kajan Smith with the ball. He'll bring it up slowly. He's guarded by Elliot Tubbs. Tubbs, tough defender. And double teamed by Cupper Schmidt. Lifts the ball up. Drops it off into the corner. He's going to be fouled by uh, Alex Lenkaitis, I believe it was. And it was. Lenkaitis is first. That's the team's 10th. Double bonus, like we said. I see the Yorkville Christian squad gathering. And I see Newark just behind Fine. them. Saw a Nate Christian head pop up. And not a big head. Just a Nate Christian head. <laughs> 13 points for Damon Williams. Some people see me sitting in the stands and they think it's a fat head. <laughs> it's just my normal head. <laughs> <laughs> 10 point lead for the host team. Getting the consolation championship is a big deal from my vantage point because on the pass, both refs had it at the same time. Two of the three, I should say. The reason it's a big deal is because that means you've only lost one game in the tournament. You That's lost your great. opening round game. In this case, Plano lost to a, a, a very, extremely, very, extremely tough Peoria Notre Dame team that could easily win the championship tonight. There's Lynch on the weak side again, gets the putback. He has 11. Pulls him within nine, oh. and that a big steal. Oh, what a drop off to Tubbs, and woo-wee! I think his own guy hit him in the face by accident. Yeah, I saw that. It did. He Damon did. Williams with a beautiful swat attempt, but he got his own guy in the right across the face. Looked like the eye. Williams first, fourth. Here's Elliot Tubbs. He has six points in the game, but... Pastor, he can pull him within six and isn't going to be able to do it that time. I hope that didn't mess up his, con his contacts if he had some. Yeah, if you have contacts, that's tough to get swatted in the eye. Tubbs, shots up and good. And Coach Trevaney wisely, he always subs on that after the ball has been given to the player, so it stops the game makes it into a dead ball situation and so now you have, have the opportunity to press without worrying about them taking it quickly out and you don't have to use a timeout smart yep tipped around and it's stolen here comes lp nice job by Kupperschmidt. foul he count the bucket scores. i think they're gonna count it but the foul was on another guy and it's gonna be out of bounds so it could be a I think that was the right call. I, I think so. The timing was a bang-bang situation, and we know our cameraman was right on top of it. 51-46, just like that. We've got a five-point game. Could be three after this, or even two. Kuppersmith in the corner, long three. Off the iron, tipped around, and cleaned up. Griffin has it. He's going to walk down and shoot two more free throws. He's got nine in the game so far, nine points. I believe Lynch with the foul. Yeah, you're right about that. That's his second. Team's 34th. Shots up and rattles that one home like a snake. I, that was for Reggie. He loves saying rattlesnake when I say <laughs> rattles that one home. Another one rattled in. And a near steal. And, and this is where they could be a little bit aggressive, but because they have five fouls now, they can't be as aggressive. They don't have, they only have one foul to give, so you want to save that in your back pocket as long as you can. Into tubs. 3 12 to go. 53 46. Near foul on. 
Move your feet, big fella. That's a big block, but he gets his own rebound and puts it back up. Good job by Tyler Hartman. He's only a sophomore. Pulls him within five. In the corner. Kajan brings it back out. No need to score here. You don't have to score, but if you can... And that's going to be on his arm a little bit too much. Good call by the official. Right there on top of it, calling Weber on the foul. Two-handed call, 23. Quick adjustment of the waist, and he's got it good to go. Kajan Smith to the line. He has 10 so far, and he'll stay at the 10 mark. Five-point lead with 2.39 to go. Reapers have three timeouts left. They have the arrow pointing in their way. They've got double bonus, so they've got everything in their favor right now. Six-point lead. That's Here we two go. threes. They're going to bring it up the line. Hartman will bring it across the timeline. A little zone by the Reapers, and a floater, nothing doing. Tubbs on the weak side rebound. They're going to call a foul on Williams, it looks like. They can't get any more fouls. And that's Williams' third foul. Trevaney, he's, he's in more of a catcher's, catcher's stance. He can't, he's not supposed to stand up after getting a technical. So he's going with the old catcher squat. Long three by Hartman. Bam! Bingo. Pulls him within three. Touchdown pass, and they lose it. Reggie, camera, that line. Reggie, thank you. You got a little cord. Just for some reason, it got pulled or stepped on, and so every once in a while it goes loose. 54-51. We'll be right back. Seven. He wore number seven. He even used digital check-in to pick room 107. And somehow they still lost. Guess by how many? For the best price guaranteed, book at Hampton.com. Hampton by Hilton. 54-51. Crucial time out there. Possession arrow still in favor of Plano. Both teams in the bonus. Double bonus for Plano. LP ball. Here we go. Way to hustle. And what a steal. He's They'll go out on the break. And a huge block by Tubbs. Foul oh! by Kajan he's Smith. Stooped. And the fans go and wild. he scores. Now that is Kajan tremendous Smith. hustle by Kajan Smith. Number 11 has been doing that all game. He's hustling, following up the shot. Woodhouse got blocked by Tubbs with an unbelievable hustle. Blocked by Tubbs. Kajan was right there to go back up, get one in the foul. Lost his shoe in the process. What a beautiful play by the senior. That senior effort right there. Wants to win his last Plano Christmas Classic game in his career. And why not go out with a consolation championship? He has 14 in the game. More importantly, they're up six. Buck 51 to go. Here we go. That's kicked. Dave Chris all over it. Senior leadership makes a difference. Yeah, Dave Chris does have that. I was thinking of Kajan Smith, but oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kajan, that's right. 
<laughs> good. Across the timeline, quickly to the hole, and no good. Up in the air, they hit, both had the rebound. You just can't worry about it now. You got to keep playing. 136 to go, and you're at the time you got to go for any steal, even if you get a foul. It's just the way it goes at this point. I think they wanted to foul him. That's the third foul on Lynch. 57-51, minute 17 left on the clock. It's quite a task to come back with a double bonus. Now the lead is seven. Um, but yeah, you have to foul, you have to do it quick and hope that you can gain a point or two in the transition. The old, I didn't call a timeout. Refs thought he heard timeout. That's why, where you take a look at him one more time. Timeout. Rattle that one home. 59-51, five points for Barraza. Got to score hurry, in a hurry. Down eight. Don't have time. Nice spin move. Stop. And Kajon Smith says, no soup for you. Nah. -uh -uh. <laughs> Copper Schmidt drives, drops it off. Long three. Bam! Now he'll use a timeout. That was big time. Five point lead. 50.4 to go. I'll tell you what. Uh, Drake Weber, that was that came at a great time, did it not? The sophomore's been pretty quiet all game, and uh, you're right, couldn't have come at a better time. Gained one on the possession. They made the two, two free throws, and they gained one. Now they got to go back down and do it again, gain one or two. Yeah, anytime you can gain a point, 50 seconds, a little over 50 seconds left, and you've got time to play that foul game. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about is, is Drake fouling. Everybody else has three or less fouls. Uh, ideally, you're going to have Elliot Tubbs commit the foul, but uh, you don't have time for an ideal situation at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Drake Weber on that last three uh, was really the only outside shot he's taken all afternoon. He's been... Taking it strong to the hole, 5'8", going strong. He hasn't had much luck, but now backed out about a foot and a half beyond the arc, and he nailed it to cut the lead to five for the Plano Reapers. Kajon Smith doing a little dance down there. He's excited. He's having fun, and he's uh, set to throw in the ball. And they're going to foul immediately uh, Griffin Cross. Remember, right after the game, we'll have the player of the game. So stay with us uh, for that, and we'll have the trophy presentation. Rim that was no. in and out. So now you're playing that game again. If you, can, if you can get a three or two, you're... Adding one more to the final score and trying to close that gap as quickly as he can. 48.8 left. Got one of two. He has a dozen now in the game. Tubbs bringing it up. Tubbs nearly lost it. He'll drop it off. Lynch with a nice play. In the corner, Hartman. Bam! Oh, boy. Wow. Three-point game. Step back, hit the three. Into the corner for Kajan. Three people around him. They're going to call the foul. Wow. I thought it looked like he just tied it up there, but the, the refs have been doing a fantastic job all afternoon. At that point, you don't want to panic, but you also want to move the ball across the timeline and see if you can take away a few more seconds. Kajon Smith 
to the free throw line. He's a pretty good free throw shooter. He has 14 points in the game. Hits that one. He's a 77% free throw shooter for the year. Missed one. Near over the back and very dangerous foul situation right there. Wow. Hart His arm is long. It. He could have got Down that. four. Long three. Bam! Oh, my! LaSalle Peru out of timeouts. We're going to keep it here. I believe oh that was their last timeout. Let's confirm my. that. My! Yes, that is. That's their last timeout. 16 seconds left. The sophomore just with ice water in his veins, stepping up and taking, knocking down his second three here in the last minute. That was huge, Phil. No, no, that's absolutely <laughs> monstrous. Big shot. Big shot. 61-60. Uh, you still may play the, the foul He's game. He's still in the game of the foul game, right? It's uh, worked I don't know if up to this point. Every single possession has worked. You foul, you get it right back, but you need to foul quickly. He's got to check in before the horn. He just barely got checked in. You hear the horn right there, and he Coach didn't even check in. Coach was fired up to get him, get him checked in. Yeah, they, and the official at the table would not let him go in if he had not checked in in time. Coach Trevaney fired up, and I happen to have a Cavalier shirt here right right next to me that uh, Coach Trevaney hooked me up with. Yeah. Reggie is wearing one Woo. right now. So you guys are pulling for the Cavaliers well, we're not, we're not because pulling, of the merch. No, we're not pulling for either team. We just uh, commenting that we do ha have merch. We happen to have some merch. They get it in right away, and they foul right away. Not necessarily what you wanted to, who you wanted to foul, but I think Coach Trevaney was good with anyone at that point. Just over a second went off the clock. 15 flat on the clock. No timeouts for the Cavaliers. Two for Plano. Important note, possession arrow still remains with the Reapers. LP's in the bonus, by the way. Ooh. Missed a key first one. Substitutions. Coach Trevaney's plan is working, and uh, they're gaining... Gaining points on wow. each possession. And now it's coming down to this next free throw to make it a two-point lead. These players have been standing at the entryway for quite some time for the next game. Makes one of two in substitution. They're playing the same game. Not they want to see who wins. Two-point lead, 15. Remember, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Playing out with the man-to-man -man pressure. Oh, and a steal. Now that was Barraza. just whiskey oh, there. my goodness. Huge. Whiskey. That's the last thing Coach Trevaney was looking for, and that's Ooh. everything that Coach Key was wanting. That was huge. What a hustle play by Damian Barraza, 5'9 junior, to go ahead and take that ball away and get fouled in the process. That's a fifth foul on Kupperschmidt. That's a big loss for... LP. Now it's a three point is needed. Cupper Schmidt or sets down. Or a quick layup and, yep. and, a, and then another foul situation. Got the bucket. Plano fans didn't like that, but that's just the way it was happened. Long three. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> they should just hold the ball out of bounds. Yep. I'm not sure why they didn't hold it out for almost five seconds. You can hold it out, then toss it in the air. Game and over. While the ball's in the air, buzzer would sound. I don't think they're thinking of that. They're thinking, get it in quickly. But you're right. It was about 4.7 it, seconds when he got well, the ball no, out it, of bounds. It was just it? over six seconds. Six. So with five seconds, just hold it you down get to four five. seconds, and then yep. you just toss it in the air as long as you're not hitting the rafters, and you're in, you're in business. But now they're going to have a chance with 1.2. No timeouts, though. To tie it. And LP has done this two times. 
They have made this three-quarter sh- <laughs> shot. If he misses this, they got to fire immediately. If he makes it... Here they go. Oh, my. If they're going to make this one. Plano steals it. LP does not gets. get a chance. Plano no. gets the win. win. And the consolation championship, 66-63. What a big game that was. They do it every time they win. That was exciting. Wow. Our player of the game. Hey, Reggie, go down there and uh, or put the camera down there because they're going to do a trophy presentation. We'll, we'll go to the auditorium mic real quick. Well, there you have it, Plano, the Consolation Champions. They'll get a quick picture of the Consolation Champions. Our Sport Clips player of the game, uh, we're going with number 22, Griffin Cross. Another excellent game for him. Uh, nice job uh, all around for all these players. You know, I, I said Griffin Cross. It was a co-player uh, of the game. I wrote it down, and I just read Griffin's name. Damon Williams also with the player yes. of the game. Uh, continued leading the team in steals and wow. energy and, and effort. Uh, those guys are fantastic. And you could e- even throw Kajon Smith into the mix there because he played absolutely fantastic too. He did. And uh, w- what a great win for the Plano club. They, the ball part, they came out wanting to play hard, asked to play hard by their coaching staff. The fans were here for them as well. They did just that. Uh, Griffin Cross started off the game exceptionally well, got into a little foul, foul trouble, had to come out. That hurt him a little bit, but still had a great game. Amon Williams uh, just hustling and, and uh, pickpocketing uh, three, four times, uh, coming across uh, half court and then taking it down for layups, easy points, easy buckets. What a great game. Uh, well, we play the ball club. Yeah, we've got the fifth place game coming up next. Yorkville Christian will take on the Norseman of Newark. We'll be back.